Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 11th question from CBSC class 10, 2023-24. Practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Section A which is multiple choice questions for one mark each. Now this question is from the introduction to trigonometry chapter. In the figure below, PQRS is a square. What is the value of sine of angle SPT? So this is what we need to find that is sine of this angle SPT. Now since they have given that PQRS is a square, each angle of the square is going to be 90 degree. That is the property of the square. So let us mark here. Each angle is 90 degree. Now once we do this, let us concentrate at point P of the square. Now the point P or the angle P is divided into two angles. One is angle SPT and angle TPQ. So let us write over here angle SPQ that is the total angle is written as the sum of angle SPT plus angle TPQ. But this total angle SPQ is 90 degree because this is one of the angle of the square. So let us write here 90 degree. So angle SPQ is 90 degree is equal to the rest two angles will remain the same. Now since we have to find out the sine of angle SPT, let us take the angle TPQ on the other side of equal to sine. And write here angle SPT is equal to 90 degree minus angle TPQ. Now once we have written this, let us take sine on both the side of the equal to sine. So it becomes sine of angle SPT equal to sine of 90 minus angle TPQ. Now once we have written this, we have to make use of the complementary angles in the trigonometric ratios. Now sine of 90 minus any angle given is nothing but cos of that angle. That is, let me write over here the complementary angles. So sine of 90 minus A, A is any angle, is nothing but equal to cos A. This is the complementary angles of trigonometric ratios. That means I can write sine of angle SPT is equal to, now in place of sine 90 minus angle TPQ, I will write it as cos of angle TPQ by using complementary angles. So let me write here cos of angle T, P, Q. Now, once I have written this, I have to find out just what is the value of cos T, P, Q. Now to find the cos of this angle T, P, Q, I am going to consider the triangle U, P, Q. Let me redraw this right angle triangle now. So here you can see I have redrawn the right angle triangle. The right angle is at point U, so I have drawn here. Now opposite to angle U is your hypotenuse which is PQ. So here we have written PQ as 17 cm and UP is going to be 8 cm, so it's written here as 8. Now we are going to find out the cos of this angle UPQ because it is equal to the angle of TPQ. So to find TPQ, we are going to make use of angle UPQ. So you can see I have marked here angle UPQ. So cos of angle UPQ is equal to adjacent side over hypotenuse. This is the trigonometric ratio for cosine. Now which is the adjacent side which is the hypotenuse in this? Now the angle of concern is angle P. So opposite to this angle will be always your opposite and opposite to this 90 degree will be always your hypotenuse. And the remaining side that is UP is going to be default the adjacent side. So here we can write the adjacent side is 8 and the hypotenuse is 17. So this is our cosine of angle UPQ. Now UPQ as we know is same as angle TPQ. So this will be equivalent to writing cos of angle TPQ. And here we have seen that cos of angle TPQ 
is same as sine of angle SPT by using the complementary angles. So here our answer for sine SPT is equivalent to 8 over 17, which is our option A. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.